Hello Virgo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 6th of March. This week begins with a major emphasis on your sector of relationships and there's a marvellous opportunity to forge an even deeper bond with someone that you're getting to know or you could attend some kind of social event, perhaps even reluctantly at first, and find that there can be a meeting of minds, and perhaps more, as the sun forges an inspirational angle to Pluto. But there's no doubt about it that at the very end of this week, the full moon occurs in your zodiac sign. And if you're in any kind of relationship which is not working very well, I think before even the end of this week, you could start to think again about the amount of effort and commitment that you're putting into this. Part of this comes from the fact that Mercury is in your sector of relating to, but is squaring with the more restrictive energies of Saturn on Friday and Saturday. This could lead to some restrained communication or even some pointed comments being exchanged. But Venus, the planet of love and affection, has started to retrace her steps in a very deep psychological part of your scope. Even if you're attracted to someone in a more sensual way, or even a more material way, you're being asked to look beyond that. But when it comes to that part of your situation, especially where you live and what you share with someone else, Mars's angle with Saturn for the first four days of this week can help you to build up something as long as there is that unity of approach between you and someone else. If you're doing something for yourself, well that can still be very successful. But Mars is going to be moving into a very lively part of your situation on Friday where he will be for the following six weeks. One which can see you much more experimental, wanting to punch out and travel and be more adventurous in your approach to life in general. But although Pluto forges that fine link with the Sun this week, Jupiter is actually forging two potentially tricky ones, one with the Sun itself and also one with Pluto. Jupiter's angle to the Sun is known as a quincunx. This is an obtuse angle and it's suggesting that when it comes to your relationships, don't be too generous. There's actually an opportunity to forge some very good alliances with Pluto's more scrutinising input to the Sun. But you don't have to try too hard to get there. But Jupiter's angle to Pluto may see you almost try and maybe make some kind of big gesture or splash out to try to appease or please someone that you're involved with. This doesn't necessarily have to be in a romantic context either. It could just be someone you're very close to, a family member, who may in some ways be laying on the charm a little bit because they want something from you. But it's important that around all your relationships there's a sense of give and take. You know what you want, you know what you're prepared to give, but also what you want back from others. And if that's lacking in any way, by the time that the full moon comes round on Sunday, there may be certain ties that you do want to distance yourself from in, in a greater way, especially with this full moon angling towards the planet of freedom, Uranus. So it's a vitally important week for relationships, huge opportunities to grow how you view your interactions with others, but also some challenges too, especially around the more emotional side of relating. So it's about the signals you give out, the signals you get back, and what you feel you're getting, and whether you want to stick at certain ties or invest more in someone new that you could meet and who could turn out to be really significant. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.